So despite myself saying that my upload schedule was gonna get back on track, I did go another two weeks without uploading. However, I would like to take this time to make a really finely worded excuse to you guys right after I sell out real quick. Let's go. This video wouldn't have been possible without the help of App Bounty. Now, App Bounty is a service that allows you to download apps and earn money from that. If you click the first link in the description, and then please, please actually click it, just click it and use code diddle, please, because they pay my bills, please. The best way that I can describe App Bounty is sort of an advertising hub where you download apps from the app store and you complete the small tasks within them, whether that be play on the app for 30 seconds or get to like level five on your character or whatever. And once you complete those tasks, you are awarded with credits that you can use to cash out for real money. The free money part aside of this service, it's a great way to find new apps. And that's why I enjoy it. Your boy takes a lot of poops and I like to play different games while I'm on the toilet. And you know, App Bounty provides me with a lot of different games that I can try out and it rewards me with money for playing them. So it's, it's just, it's a win-win. You just, you have to try it out. Anyways, guys, if you take a few minutes out of your day every single day to do this, it adds up pretty quick and you can cash out to pretty much whatever you want. They have things from Amazon to Steam to PlayStation all the way down to NFL. I don't know what kind of NFL gift cards you can get. I don't really care. I don't watch baseball, but you know, more power to you. Anyways, guys, check out the link in the description for more info. Thank you so much and enjoy the video. Now that the ad's over, let's get back to my excuse. Uh, I was extremely sick and I did actually end up spending a night in the hospital the other day. So it, it was that kind of sickness. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. When I made this video, it was totally supposed to be a joke, but it has half a million views and it's getting 7,000 views per hour. And that's absolutely insane. So obviously I'm gonna make another one. You guys really seem to enjoy it. So I've taken the liberty of going back onto eBay today and I found a bunch more Steam key sellers and I'm gonna try and buy as many keys as I can for as cheap as I can and just kind of see what's doing. Check this out, boys. For an extra $1.99, I can get a three-year protection plan, 24-7 customer support on every single illegitimately obtained Steam key that I buy off of some dude from Venezuela from eBay. This is wonderful news. Obviously, I'm adding it. Now, the thing I like about these eBay Steam keys is that the number of games you get versus the money you're spending varies significantly. Like, there are a lot of options on here, whereas the actual, like, key reselling sites, they don't really have as many options. And I find it funny because this is eBay. You can buy used women's socks on eBay, gentlemen. You, you Like, you can buy dirty-ass women's socks, but you can also buy Steam keys. So, like, it's, it, it's, it's a really, it's a nice balance. It's like the yin-yang. You know, you got dirty socks, stolen Steam keys. Now the prices on these games vary a lot and depending on the price versus the amount of games you're getting, I would imagine that means that the quality of games are gonna be better. What I mean by this is if I'm gonna spend 99 cents on one random Steam key, I assume it's gonna be a game that has a higher chance of being expensive as opposed to an offer like this where I'm spending $3.80 on 50 random keys. These games I would assume to all be extremely dirt cheap. I've taken the liberty of finding some really quality games from all over the world at all different price points and I'm gonna be buying these today and hoping that we don't actually get scammed. In the last video, I didn't really actually get all the keys up front and I mentioned that in the video I couldn't actually review all of the games that I wanted to however I did end up getting them all in emails like two days later so I did receive them and it was legitimate so I am confident that I will actually get these games today hopefully and I don't get scammed so these are all of the keys that I chose to go with I'm gonna be buying one random key for 99 cents there's only three available so that's should be interesting uh, and this is actually from penis Lithuania so I, where even is that? The next pack that I'm gonna be buying is five of them for $6. Now, this is actually more than a dollar per key, but it says it's $70 worth of games, and uh, this guy is from New York, United States, okay? Now, guaranteed is in all caps, and you can't put anything on the internet, especially not in capital letters, if it's not 100% true. My only concern with this is that on the picture for the ad, it, it, it shows a bunch of like actual games, like Siege and like Grand Theft Auto, so I doubt I'm gonna be getting any of those, so I think I'm getting scammed out here, boys. I, th I think I may not actually get this one. The last one is the main selling point of this video. Th I'm gonna be buying 50 keys plus five bonus keys. So I guess that's really 55 keys for $3.80. These are either gonna be the best games I've ever played or they're just gonna fucking ruin my entire life, okay? I'd like to take a minute as well to show you guys my devotion for you because if I actually go into my store on Steam and look at anything in my recommended, it's like the most ridiculous fucking games because all I ever play are meme games. Like, look at this game. Who would play this? Who would actually play this game? I'd, I'd also like to point out this guy's name, his seller information, he's the king of keys which is cool, like that's a creative name, that's really nice, like I'm, I'm happy for you. Uh, but in the picture, his logo, it, 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 it literally says cock with a key going through the hole. I'm super excited to play this dude's games. All right guys, so I added up all of the games that we're gonna be getting today. This is actually gonna be 64 Steam keys for $11.78. Now, that's a lot of games. I'm sure most of them are gonna be duds, but we may actually be able to get ourselves something good today. So, uh, you know, I am excited. That is if they actually show up. 
At this point, guys, it's honestly just a waiting game. So I'm going to stop and I will come back when I get some or all of the uh, the keys in my email or in my eBay inbox. Hopefully I don't get completely scammed. But I guess that's kind of what makes these videos fun is really like not knowing what I'm going to get or if I'm going to get anything at all. Now, in all genuine honesty, I did not receive all of the keys that I ordered yet. However, I did receive the two that I was most intrigued by, and that was the 50 pack of games, and then also the five random games that were guaranteed to be worth $70. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out a couple of the games from the 50 pack, and then I'm gonna test out uh, all of the games from this five pack. Also guys, I'm really trying to give back, so I am actually doing a giveaway right now for a blue snowball mic as well. So in the description below, you'll also find a link to the Gleam, and after you're done clicking that beautiful app bounty link, and checking that out you guys can enter this blue snowball giveaway and maybe win yourself a microphone and start making videos for yourself this giveaway ends on halloween so make sure to check it out please so the first thing i want to test out is the games that are like guaranteed to be worth 70 dollars. i'm going to individually put all of these in and then check out the market price of these games to see if this market seller was telling the truth or not uh, I, I probably isn't but we're, we're going to check it out anyways so i tallied everything up and i have to say i'm actually pleasantly surprised despite the fact that all of these games were probably free somewhere at one point and are still probably garbage the grand total has been ninety four dollars and ninety six cents which that's actually a pretty decent amount of money for these five games I think I paid like three dollars for this pack so honestly not too shabby now I am gonna play some of those games but I do want to check out this 50 pack that I bought I've hidden the uh, the actual keys that way you guys can't redeem them all but I do want to check out the five free gift keys that I got and I want to see if these are any good and then I'm gonna pick a few of the games from the list and I am gonna play them so these are the five free games that I got so all five of these free bonus games came out to a total of $10.95, which is exactly what I was expecting. So I'm going to pick two of the games from the bottom and two of the games from the top. Now these top games should be somewhat decent, whereas these bottom games... I'm assuming are just gonna be really terrible indie games. So honestly, Ice Cream Factory kind of seems intriguing to me, so I think I'm gonna start with that one. This is Ice Cream Factory. Let's, uh... Okay, my cursor doesn't doesn't work. I don't have a cur... What is, what is the point of the red cursor if, if I still got my mouse? That's fun. So my objective is to fill 10 vanilla cones. I don't... How hard could this be? Are you serious? This is it? You literally just drop the ice cream into the cone. That's this whole game? Like, please tell me it gets more complex than this. I spent good money on this product. Wait. If you miss one cone, you just lose the game. Like, the employers at this ice cream factory are not fucking around. If you miss one goddamn cone, you are fired on the spot. I don't even care. Apparently, you can use the number keys. I guess that's probably easier. This game is like really, really easy. I don't even have to look. Like I'm just, you can just spam it too. And then I missed one cone and I got fired. That's, that's, yeah, the, the game is over. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Next up on the list is gonna be Jammer Ball. Now this, this game I'm assuming is gonna be some sort of sports game. You know, it's got ball in the title. This, this game looks like something I would play on the Nintendo 64 in like 2001. This is, it's fun, it's a good time. So initially, I wasn't given any sort of tutorial or anything. They're just, looks like we're just throwing balls. I don't, what? When you stop moving, you just fucking T-pose. Look at me. I'm just T-posing. Hit me with a ball while I T-pose. Ready? Yeah. This seems to be a dodgeball game of sorts, but because it didn't tell me any controls, I honestly have no clue how to pick up the ball. I give this game three T-poses out of five. This game is called Orwell. This is one of the more expensive games. This is from like the more expensive pack. I'm gonna make my name Venus Putt, and uh, we need to choose a profile picture here. Um, is that Snoop Dogg mixed with Chance the Rapper? Let's go with that. What the hell is, am I like signing up for something right now? What the hell is going on here? Bro, I'm not trying to ensure the safety of my nation's people. My name is Venus Putt. I did not take this seriously. What did I sign up for? Yeah, I have to read? Guys, what is this? This is like a social media. I really have a big problem with like skipping tutorials for things. Like, I don't know what I'm going on. I think in this game, I'm trying to determine if certain people are terrorists or not. Now, if I actually like did the tutorial, this would probably, uh, you know, this would probably be a lot easier, but I just, I, you know, even I'm saying this, like, as I'm saying it, I'm skipping through all the dialogue that I should be reading. I guess this game is like a mock system where you gather information about people based on crimes and stuff that they've been committed for. And, uh, you basically create a profile and, and find out if they're a threat to national security or not. This seems like it'd be a really cool game, but it's not really something that I'm into. I don't like games where I have to read a ton. Uh, when I play games, I just like to, to play games. I like the flashing colors, you know, guys, this is getting 
really complex and now there's more people involved. She's a terrorist, I don't wanna play. After about 10 minutes, I decided that that woman could or could not be a terrorist, but I really don't care. So we're just gonna move on to Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. We got Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine campaign. So this game has a campaign and an online. I feel like as cool as the campaign probably is, I'm just gonna slap it online. Let's see if there's anybody actually playing this game. It's your boy homoerotic Halloween diddle. Let's play some fucking Gears of War 2. There is actually a full lobby and I got right into it, dude. This game just looks like a Gears of War clone, but it seems like it actually does have a pretty active player base. This is nuts. There isn't even a fucking crosshair in this game, dude. You just fucking, you just go for it. I'm gonna call this game Cogs of Combat instead of Gears of War. That's what this is. Look at this guy's just floating. Can I hit him? Nope, still, I still can't hit him. He's standing still, but... You know, that's that's not how this laser gun works. Ready, we'll move a little down. Oh, my host migration. Where'd he go? Oh, now he's gone, all right. So Cogs of Combat is not a good game. Don't download it. I have no idea what that even was. So I'm gonna end it off with Sanctum 2. I'm just gonna continue without saving because that's for an option for some reason. And uh, let's see what we're working with here. This game honestly looks like it would have been a pretty high budget game back in 2013 when it came out. We got our weird bubble people dancing on some dead aliens. That's cool. We got a floating gun. That's uh, very reminiscent of the period. This game didn't really have a tutorial or anything for me to skip. It just drops you right into combat. That's Wow, this is honestly kind of feeling like a Walmart Borderlands 2 though, and that's kind of an issue. Like even to the jumping, like you jump really high and the guns are very cartoony. I don't know how I feel about this art style. All right, never mind, boys. The game has just changed. This is a tower defense game. In this game, you earn points for killing the aliens and you can use it to upgrade your towers and also build new ones. This is actually kind of a cool concept. I, I like games like this, genuinely. Tower defense games as a genre are just like classically good. It's very hard to make a bad one. I honestly think that out of all of the games that I bought, this game might be a gem, genuinely. Now with that said, that doesn't mean I'm gonna play it ever again but it, it, it does seem like it could be a pretty decent game. That's Sanctum 2 if you guys wanna check that out. From this experience, I'd say that buying the Steam keys on eBay probably is not the best way to go. Uh, however, if you guys are looking for a really nice way to kill some time, I would recommend just buying like a 50 pack of these games and just running with it. Like even if they are absolute hunks of booty juice, I still feel like a lot of these games do deserve to be showcased and should be played by somebody even if it's only once. This video may have been a little unorthodox. I have been pretty sick, but I did want to stop at the end and just talk to you guys for a minute. In the past, I did a lot of sponsored work with a lot of websites and services online, usually related to CSGO. But the uh, the thing with that is I'm not really in that field anymore and I don't really intend to go back. So recently I've had a few like actual companies and actual services and like games and stuff reach out to me for sponsorships and I haven't accepted them all, but I am accepting a few of them. And in the near future, there are going to be some like bigger brands that are trying to work with me. And I just wanted to express how important and how helpful it is to me uh, that you guys interact with these sponsors in the coming weeks. To put it as bluntly as possible, I'm really trying to branch out of like the CSGO gambling and all of that kind of shit. And I really just want to work with like actual brands that have actual products and work with like game developers and stuff. I just I, I just want to get myself out there more. So whatever the sponsor may be, even if it's not a service that you're 100% going to use like every day, it helps if you just check it out for me. It really does. Even if you just click the link and download whatever it may be, 95% of the sponsors that I accept uh, are going to be free for you guys to use. So really all that you're giving me is a little bit more of your time and believe me guys it helps me out like worlds and worlds and worlds uh, this is how I pay my bills and I'm not out here trying to become a millionaire I do need to pay my rent and some of these sponsors pay me more for one video than I will get in an entire month of ad revenue and that's very very important I think a lot of youtubers put up a facade and don't really address sponsors but I, I feel like it's important to keep the lines of communication open with you guys and uh, it really means a lot that you guys support me as much as you do anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy uh, there will be another one in a few days I'm gonna try and branch out from the steam series as well and do some other stuff so I hope that you guys can stay tuned in for that as well and maybe support those series as well with that said thank you so much for watching have a great day guys and I'll see you in the next one Before